Hi social media family! Um, right, so, so many people have been asking me about doing a YouTube video on my closet and how I put it together and what's in it and how I get ready and everything so that's why I thought I'll start it off by I've already done my makeup uh, I just kind of uh, blow dried my hair straight, put them in rollers so I think by the time I finish this video I'll be ready to do my hair anyway so I'll kind of like show you finishing touches of what I do just before I go out somewhere so yeah, um, if you have any questions uh, feel free to leave comments underneath uh, and then you know about where I've bought things or whatever and um, I'll be happy to answer them I'm yeah, walking into my room putting on the little chandelier Okay, where do I start? Now, let's first start off with the furniture. I got these from Ikea, and what I did, I just popped into Ikea, said to the guys, I mean, of course, you have to measure your um, room first and make sure your ceiling is not too short. So this was just perfect. Um, I mean, they have the, the same sort of height uh, for all the wardrobes that they have like in terms of the walk-in closets and then you can choose what width you have because if you look on this side for example now this one's I think about 100 centimeters and then it goes on to like I think this one was 90 and then this one was just like slightly smaller um, so yeah so then I kind of then uh, with the guy we spent about an hour like talking about what we want to put in and how we want to put in and stuff. So starting off with, gosh, there's a lot going on in my room. So these were awesome because these are just like sliding ones. So you can actually put all your shoes in and I've just kind of separated them out. So I kind of put all my sneakers, my trainers, whatever you want to call them at the bottom and like the pretty shoes to the front so that when people walk in, I mean, it's the nice ones that you see first, isn't it? And then put all the rubbish ones at the back, I guess. Um, and then I kind of, I usually color coordinate. I try to do that, but then I thought, you know what, it makes things easier if you put them into categories. So I put all my nice like shirts and jackets, blazers and stuff um, in here. And then I moved on to casual things from jumpers, cardies, t-shirts, all in there. And then just as a display, I put some of my bags. Um, on display as well and what's great is this glass top sort of thing so instead of having it um, as an example something plain like this I just thought the glass one just makes it a little bit fancier and then you can obviously separate them out so I've just like put my jumpers in there and you know like gym stuff socks whatever um, and the same here what I've done here I've just put trousers and jeans and and I love the fact that again it's got the glass sort of handle that you can just like pull on but I mean, I just grab it from the from the bottom. Um, so yeah, like we just put these together. So I've picked what I've actually wanted. So they're kind of called inserts. So I've put the inserts in. And me and my cousin and my sister, just the three of us put this entire thing together on both sides. So yeah, I know, we're great. <laughs> uh, moving on, and then I've got like dresses hanging here. And then I've got longer dresses. So this is great. So if you have maxi dresses and stuff, it would be nice just to have an entire um, unit just for long hanging things so they don't get like creased in the bottom. And then I've got like my long boots um, stuffed in there. And you can choose if you want to do the whole color coordination or not. Like I think, I mean you could, but it's just because I have different sort of lengths and heights and stuff. I thought um, it makes a little bit more uh, sense like this and see I hate ironing so I literally just like um, even hang my t-shirts uh, you know even if it, if they're just like casual ones or something and then what I do is um, I'll wash them and then go through them again like this one's creased up so I'd iron them steam iron them and then hang them back up um, so yeah it's, it's a bit sad uh, then I needed a place for all my saris sadly these are not all my saris I couldn't fit all of them in so um, but this is like a good idea to be honest ideally I probably would have done you know the top bit and another one at the bottom and then hung my saris in there as well but this room is pretty small so trying to fit everything in was a nightmare as it is i've got all my winter jackets coats whatever there and then i this one is so cool you know you pull it out and you can just hang trousers skirts whatever you want to hang really um i decided to put skirts even though i think they're meant to be for trousers and then i got these little baskets so i got them just to put like scarves hats 
um, belts and things in there and then just you and kind of made made it all flow with bags and you know so this is the last stop so once I kind of pick my clothes on this side you know I then choose the shoes and then I move over to this section and decide if I want to wear scarves belts if I want to have some bags sort of thing and then the best part so I needed storage as well to put all my hair stuff and everything but I'll show you guys this in a moment this is the best part so it's like literally little inserts again and then you can kind of put like I've decided to put some of my sunglasses out I'll probably put them away once the summer has gone but then you know it is UK it will be gone very soon uh yeah so I've just like put jewelry and then this is pretty cool as well so you've got like a little compartment so you can get all of these from Ikea um and yeah so I've just kind of separated them out put like earrings even some of my favorite like traditional earrings uh, bangles, bracelets, so I've, again, in categories, and then, like, watches, rings, chains, like that, uh, to be honest, I probably would have liked a few more insets, just to put all my Indian bangles and everything in, so, again, that's an option as well. Now, if you guys remember one of my brides, Sappy, who I did back in April, I mean, she was very famous, because <laughs> everybody loved uh, her looks, and she has impeccable taste. So she's the one that actually helped me find this mirror. So I just went on Amazon. Um, she gave me a few links. So to be honest, you can buy these in Ikea, but the Ikea ones, they're, they're not vintage, and they're not vintage looking. I mean, this is just a copy. It's not an, uh, this is not an original vintage. Um, but yeah, so I paid 90 pounds uh, for the mirror and then I just kind of decorated it by putting see I want I didn't, I didn't want them all to be flat so if you see from the side you know some of the things are raised I wanted texture and I wanted some sort of 3d effect which is why I've got framed pictures in between and then I've got like some you know empty frames just to make it look a little bit quirky and yeah just like I found this from you know I think I bought this from new look and just brooches and yeah, you can see the 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 sellotape, but I, there was no other way of sticking this to my wall because, yeah, it was pretty annoying. But so kind of like a theme, so everything to do with Vogue and fashion things. I mean, you can see my I look like a complete tramp right now, but I don't always dress up at home. And then the best part is also these um, compartments right at the top. So you can kind of just like I bought these from IKEA as well. So I use them for storage, so things that I don't use regularly, like even if it's just bed sheets and, you know, like I've got all my sari blouses there, for example, and just like, you know, it's just cool because you can just use them as storage and, um, yeah. And then this bit, again, Sappy helped me find as well, so it's great. The only thing is I found it difficult to have lighting, so then what I did is basically add these, and I got them from... Um, Ikea again. This was actually from Amazon. Um, it was £140. My um, closet in total, I think all of it, um, was £1,050 I think. So, which I think isn't too bad because you can take it all off and if you're moving you can assemble it back together. Um, yeah, so I'll get to this part. So I've got like, you know, perfumes and makeup and the things that I use on a regular basis and these um I found actually from a charity shop so um and that's really cool because you can buy them super super cheap like I think this bowl was like three pounds that was like two pounds and you know they're cute you can just like find them at like any t any sorry charity shops and then you can use them to just like make this whole thing look pretty um, and then I got this um, just to give me some extra light so I kind of do my makeup right in front of this and all this extra light helps as well while I'm doing my hair and everything um, yeah just like extra little bits just to make it fancy and pretty I've got my magazine there and yeah and then this to cover up all the wiring at the back basically so yeah so all these boxes basically just have hair and makeup stuff but they're mainly for my kit but these are cool because it just has like all my straighteners, my curlers and everything in there. And then I've got these sort of boxes to put, you know, hair, accessories. And this one alone has all my hair extension stuff. So, you know, it comes in quite handy, I guess, um, to have these. And they, again, are from Ikea. 
So yeah, I think most of my thing I should really get paid for this from Ikea. And then this rug. To be honest, I'm not overly impressed with this rug. Um, yeah, like I think I should have really gotten real cow skin, but um, it, you know, it'll do for now anyway. So yeah, let's get ready. So these things, these sleep-in rollers, like I uh, bought them from Amazon. You can get them from um, Boots as well. And they're kind, they're really, really spongy. So, you know, like just to take one out and how to do it. It's like, so right now I've left this in probably for like 20 minutes and I've already got a little bit of that volume. So what you want to do, you want to curl it in the, in the direction you want the hair to fall, right? So I kind of like take it up, if you can see it, and then just basically wrap it and then it sticks. It doesn't move. So then you could go to sleep with it, but then if you're a messy sleeper, then you can have a lot of sick. Um, right. So then, you know, I just leave that in, like I said, and then just like you easily just pull them out. So, cause I wanted that sort of side fringe, like, as you can see, cause look, if you look at this side and you, you look at that side, obviously there's more volume. And then I did the same thing at the back as well. Cause I wanted some volume at the back. So you can see, you know, how I've curled it. Right. So it's just like, you know, I've set it backwards. So I've got a little bit of, um, volume. Ta-da. And you know one of my favorite hairstyles, right? Ew. All those waves. So again, my 35 millimeter curling wand. Um, barrel, whatever you want to call it. And I do have another YouTube video on hairstyles. So it's the 10 quick hairstyles with Vidya. So please have a look at that because I do explain things in detail. This is just to quickly guy show you guys what I'm doing. So um, when I go out for dinner, night out, um, this is probably one of my favorite hairstyles just because it, um, I think it looks very elegant. It looks really classy and you know what? It really, really, really fa frames your face very nicely. Like it makes your face look nice and long, um, rather than anything else. So I kind of, yeah, like to do that, but you will see the complete look and then you can pick an outfit with me. Yay. I need some music in here, but I don't want to be screwed over with copyright. So I've set my hair and I just put some clips where the curl sort of falls just while I'm picking out outfits. So let's do this. Um, I'm going for dinner. So then I was kind of thinking uh, the blazer look. So I've got a blazer here. Um, it's from, it's from Zara. Um, most people would know that I freaking love Zara, so it's just kind of like a little padded sort of blazer. So I was thinking I'll wear that, and then, since I want to wear heels, I'm just going to probably wear these, some open-toed one. It's summer, it's nice, it's pretty, and then I'm going to wear this, um, what do you call it? Oh gosh, I don't even know the name now, but it's velvet. It's like a vest, but... There is a name. I'm so going to get cussed on YouTube for this. But anyway, I'll pick that. And then I've got this tutu skirt um, that I that you guys have seen me in already. But I just kind of thought I put those together. And then, yeah, jewellery. I think I want to keep it quite simple with the earrings. So I'm probably going to wear... I haven't worn these in a while. So, yeah, I'm probably going to wear these. And then keep the watch quite simple as well. So I'm just going to wear black for the evening. I usually wear these on like casual days and stuff. Oh, I love my little Versace one. This was given to me as a gift from somebody years and years and years ago. Um, I'm always too scared to wear this drink, you know, especially when I take public transport. Anyway, so yeah, gonna wear that and then just maybe jazz it up with um, something delicate. Okay, let's see. I actually decided to wear my Carvella shoes. Actually, I haven't worn these in ages. So they're kind of like open toe, but then Stiletto high and they've got a little bit of some sort of shimmer to them going on um, Yep, got my tutu skirt on my blazer my whatever that is and a little bit of bling hair done and yeah That's it really Ta-da uh, Kept my makeup quite simple just like a bold liner some sort of nude lips the hair wavy classy looking i hope but yeah hope you enjoyed getting ready with me guys and you enjoy my closet 
and if you really like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and do not forget to share this video love you all bye